Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about extensions. If you guys don't know, I am a licensed cosmetologist and I love doing extensions. So I get a ton of questions about extensions, different brands, different methods. And honestly, there's so many times like I get the same question repeated over and over and I was like, I'm just going to make a video about this and then we can just chat about it. I can answer some of your questions. So let's go into it. First of all, I have like a really glossy red lip on and if it's on my teeth, um, just ignore it because that's real life and it happens to me because my teeth are not straight. So, all right. So this is kind of going to be a long video. Um, so grab a drink, hang out with me and we'll talk about all the extension details. First, question I always get is what are the best type of extension and you guys that is not a straightforward answer you need to consult with your stylist who specializes in extensions or at least has experience in extensions and talk to them about it because there are so many different methods so let's go over the different methods for install, I feel like there are just a couple different types of installs, but over time, stylists, different companies have all changed them slightly and then branded them as their own method, which is a-okay. But this is how the industry and brands and hairstylists and educators make money. So all the methods kind of boil down to just about three even though there's a ton of different ways you can do it, really it comes down to like three things. First is an adhesive method, second is going to be a braided method, and third is going to be a beaded method. Number one, adhesive is gonna be like your tape-ins, it's gonna be a keratin bond, anything that's sticky that you need to spray or have a specific spray that breaks down the adhesive to remove. That is whole a whole category and there's a ton of different methods in that category. And then we're going to move on to braided. Braided is something a lot of people have done for seriously years because it's like back to basics. It's your hair and then the machine weft and the sewing. So in that second category that would include like pinch braids and it would include like a cornrow track that you sew a weft onto. Third is going to be your beaded weft. This has like taken off this year. So beaded would be any sort of bead closure. So it would be like a beaded track. It would be individual strands of hair that are attached by a single bead. So many different variations, but when it all comes down to it, there's like three different methods of the install. And these installs I'm talking about are like done by a professional where they stay in your hair, not like a clip-in. Um, clip-ins are just like a totally different thing, um, and I'm probably not even going to talk about that much in this video, but yeah. I always tell people, consult with your stylist, and everyone is always like, how do I know how to find a stylist? I say this so much to people, you're the consumer, you choose where you go, so do your research. Look at pictures of people with extensions that have similar hair types, textures, that you do, and then search in your area who does those type of extensions? Look at everyone's work. Look at before and afters. Look at how much experience they have, if they're certified, if they're not certified. There's a ton of different things you guys can look for as clients. But I honestly feel like before and afters and reviews are like gold. So which method is the best method and that really depends on your head of hair so i would consult with your stylist to decide which method works best for you they're all good they're all different and it just really depends and i definitely don't like it when some stylists are like i would never do this method or i would never do that method because if you're trained correctly in each of these methods on the right head of hair for the right client they're all good so just keep that in mind. That is the thing, you guys. Once you learn the basics of all of these categories, you can create your own method, your own thing. You can combine different methods on one head of hair. If you have enough knowledge of extension, hair type, hair texture, you as a stylist get to be creative with how you create 
this head of hair of extensions. It's all up to you and your client. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly go over the methods that I do or that I have knowledge in. So first is going to be tape-ins. Tape-ins are a really easy way to add thickness or length to your hair. I always recommend tape-ins to people with thinner hair. If you have like tons of hair and you choose tape-ins as your method, I just, it's just, you're going to need so many tape-ins. Your whole entire scalp is going to be full of tape-ins. And I personally like don't like that. If you're putting in like five packs of tape-ins, it's just like, do a different method, okay? <laughs> tape-ins can be amazing for people that have like thinning sections in the front here. Uh, raise your hand if you'd like your recession to be thick. I do. I want all the hair right here. And so a lot of my clients want to pop in just a few tape-ins right here on the side to fill in this section and it works amazing. If I do have a picture, I'll pop it up here. Um, and also tape-ins are a really easy way to start experiencing extensions. If you've never worn an extension before, I suggest starting with a clip-in and then the next is gonna be going into tape-ins. Next are gonna be like the eye tips or the keratin tips. This is also in the adhesive category. I personally do not do these. I have seen amazing videos though online and I've seen some in person that are not so good. So if you do do these, I would just recommend, you know, finding a brand educator that you really connect with that is really knowledgeable to get certified under and connecting with that brand that has a lot of support in their education and you'll be fine. Next, we're going to be talking about braided in extensions. So this would be like your pinch braid or your cornrow track that you're going to be sewing on a weft to. I remember learning pinch braids in beauty school and then having it be pretty hard and then forgetting about it. And at the salon I work at now, we also offer pinch braids. I do not necessarily recommend doing an entire head of pinch braids. People do it, there's stylists that do it, that's fine, but girl, that carpal tunnel is real. Um, I'm just not going to be doing that for three and a half hours, it's just, I'm not doing it. But one method I do love is the cornrow track where you sew a weft onto the cornrow. Next category is the beaded category and this category has a lot of mini techniques underneath it. The beaded can be single beads, it can be a track of beads. So many clients ask me, do you do hand tied extensions? Uh, well, yes. <laughs> But what is often confused as hand-tied extensions is the method versus what the weft looks like. Hand-tied wefts, hand-sewn wefts. What are you actually asking for? Do you as a consumer know? The answer is no. <laughs> that sounds mean, but it's literally not. So, you guys, when you order wefts, the very top part that it's all together, that's, an, that's a weft, right? And it's either made by a machine or it is hand-tied by a person. And that's what we as stylists say is a hand-tied weft versus a machine weft. Machine weft, hand-tied weft. They both can be used in all different types of methods. Those can be used. The machine weft is just going to be thicker. It's going to be a little more durable. I have medium density hair and I like machine weft. I've worn hand tied, they're great as well. Um, they are thinner, so I need a few more wefts. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go a little bit in depth about different kinds of hair. Um, all of your professional branded hair companies are going to be human hair. I would never recommend getting synthetic hair unless you're gonna wear it for a day. A day. <laughs> never buy synthetic hair, don't buy blended hair. If you want it to look real, you're gonna have to get real hair. Almost all professional brands are gonna be Remy hair. That just means that the cuticle of the hair is intact and it's all going the same direction. If you ever buy hair that is not Remy, meaning the cuticles of the hair, instead of all going down, they could be going in different directions. So then when you brush, you're almost like brushing back the cuticle and that causes snarling. You don't want that. You guys, if you go online, there's there's so many hair companies, it's nuts. Like, I just 
sometimes wonder about like who the fuck is growing all this hair literally um, i personally feel like we're entering into an age where people are really starting to care about what the brand stands for are they sourcing their products ethically and you can find all that out contact the brand read about the company talk to their educators i think that's really important especially as a stylist that we start supporting companies that we agree with on a moral standpoint because i mean that's what life's about man we, you want to support people who support the things you support does that make sense you know what i mean another type of hair extension that you can talk to your stylist about is halos Halos have made like such a huge comeback. I remember like, I don't know, probably like 10 years ago. Like Daisy Fuentes came out with these like halo hair things and it was just like, what the fuck is this? No, so cool, so good. People wear them, people double them up, people wear them in um, updos, special events, like. It's all the rage, so I'm like Okay you guys, I think this kind of sums up what I kind of wanted to talk about. It was a little bit unorganized. Hopefully when I edit it, it's a way more organized. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hate to read intros, it's so awkward. Um. <laughs> Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a few more videos like this about hairstylist topics, how to like build your clientele, and just like my journey of being a hairstylist so far. I'm just like a few years in, but I feel like I've got some tips and tricks to share with you guys. So um, I'm going to keep doing that. Okay, cool. Bye.